In the vast expanse of space, there are countless stars, each with their unique story to tell. Some are massive, shining brightly and burning through their fuel in just a few million years. Others are more humble, quietly burning away for billions of years. Among these long-lived stars are the red dwarfs, the most common type of star in our galaxy. These small, cool stars have captured the attention of astronomers for their potential to host habitable planets and their role in shaping the evolution of the universe. Red dwarfs are stars that are smaller and cooler than our Sun, with a mass ranging from about 0.08 to 0.5 solar masses. They are also known as M dwarfs, as they belong to the spectral class M. Unlike our Sun, which burns hydrogen in its core, red dwarfs burn hydrogen in a shell around their core. This allows them to burn through their fuel at a much slower rate, with lifetimes of up to 10 trillion years, compared to the Sun's 10 billion years. Despite their small size and dimness, red dwarfs have become an important area of research for astronomers. One reason is their abundance. Estimates suggest that red dwarfs make up about 75% of all stars in the Milky Way, making them a common target for exoplanet searches. Red dwarfs are also important for understanding the evolution of the universe. The first generation of stars in the universe were likely massive and short-lived, exploding as supernovae and spreading the elements they created into the surrounding gas. This enriched gas eventually formed the next generation of stars, including red dwarfs, which retain this chemical fingerprint of the universe's early history. One of the most exciting aspects of red dwarfs is their potential to host habitable planets. Because they are smaller and cooler than our sun, their habitable zones, the region around the star where conditions are right for liquid water, are much closer in. This means that a planet could be located in the habitable zone of a red dwarf even if it is orbiting much closer to its star than Earth is to the Sun. In recent years, several Earth-sized planets have been discovered in the habitable zones of nearby red dwarfs, including Proxima Centauri b and Trappist 1f. These discoveries have raised hopes for finding signs of life beyond our solar system. However, red dwarf planets present unique challenges for follow-up observations. Because red dwarfs are so dim, it can be difficult to study the atmospheres of their planets and look for signs of life. Red dwarfs are known to be more active than our sun, with frequent flares and eruptions that can blast planets with harmful radiation. This could make it difficult for life to survive on a red dwarf planet, although some researchers believe that protective atmospheres could shield against these flares. The activity of red dwarfs also has implications for the search for habitable planets. These stars can exhibit flares up to 10,000 times more powerful than those seen on the Sun. These flares can last for several hours and release energy across the electromagnetic spectrum, from X-rays to radio waves. This makes it challenging to study the atmospheres of red dwarf planets and determine their habitability. The search for exoplanets around red dwarfs is a thriving area of research. In recent years, several Earth-sized planets have been discovered in the habitable zones of nearby red dwarfs using the transit method, where the planet passes in front of its star, causing a slight dip in its brightness. Another method is the radial velocity method, which looks for the tiny wobble in the star's motion caused by the gravitational tug of an orbiting planet. One of the most promising discoveries in recent years has been the TRAPPIST-1 system, which is a red dwarf star located about 40 light-years away. The system has seven Earth-sized planets, three of which are located in the habitable zone. This makes it one of the best places to search for signs of life beyond our solar system. Despite these exciting discoveries, the search for habitable planets around red dwarfs is not without its challenges. Red dwarfs are so small and dim that it can be difficult to detect planets using the transit or radial velocity methods. Additionally, the presence of flares and other activity can make it difficult to distinguish between signals from planets and signals from the star itself. The study of red dwarfs is a rapidly evolving field. With advances in technology, astronomers are able to study these small stars in greater detail than ever before. For example, the James Webb Space Telescope is able to detect the atmospheres of nearby exoplanets, providing more information on the potential habitability of these planets. In addition, new techniques are being developed to study red dwarfs and their planets. For example, astronomers are investigating the use of MICR lensing, 
which involves observing the gravitational lensing of a background star by a foreground red dwarf. This method could potentially detect Earth-sized planets in the habitable zones of red dwarfs at much greater distances than previously possible. Red dwarfs may be small and unassuming, but they have captured the attention of astronomers for their potential to host habitable planets and their role in shaping the evolution of the universe. As our technology and methods for detecting exoplanets improve, we may discover even more Earth-sized planets in the habitable zones of red dwarfs. And who knows what other surprises these humble stars may have in store for us in the future. The study of red dwarfs is an exciting and rapidly evolving field, and we can look forward to many more discoveries in the years to come.